Hello and welcome to the part 2 of our FarmCard tutorial on isotonicity and buffer solutions. If you are yet to watch the part 1, I strongly recommend that you go and watch it first. Link is in the video description, video card and even in the comments box below. In this video, we will look at one or two more important facts, then we go straight into solving exercises. The first is the formula for calculating the sodium chloride equivalent or E-value of a drug when you are not provided with that value in a question or a reference table. Sodium chloride equivalent of a drug is equal to molecular weight of sodium chloride all over I factor of sodium chloride times I factor of the drug all over molecular weight of a drug. Always remember that we take 58.5 gram as the molecular weight of sodium chloride and 1.8 as the I factor of sodium chloride. So the formula is actually sodium chloride equivalent of a drug is equal to 58.5 all over 1.8 times I factor of the drug all over molecular weight of the drug. Another formula to note is the formula for calculating the volume of water needed to make an isotonic solution of a drug. The mill of water needed is equal to gram of the drug times E value of the drug divided by 0.009. There are other ways to solve such calculations without directly using this formula. However, using this formula makes solving such questions faster. We will see this in the exercises soon. Finally, there is a table of reference showing the freezing point depression values of 1% preparations of various substances. This will be best explained when applied in solving exercises. For buffer solutions, I will introduce the formulas when we solve related exercises. I might make a separate video discussing buffer solutions in details later. Now, let us go into the exercises. Let's start with question 5. The freezing point of a molar solution of a non-electrolyte is minus 1.86 degrees C. What is the freezing point of a 0.1% solution of zinc chloride, molecular weight 136, dissociating 80%? For lack of more definite information, assume that the volume of the molar solution is approximately 1 liter. Since we are asked to calculate freezing points, we will use the formula that contains a freezing point parameter. One molecular weight of any drug when dissolved in 1000 ml of water will freeze at minus 1.86 degrees C times I factor for electrolytes. From the question, the molecular weight of zinc chloride is 136 grams. We will calculate the I factor from the fact that it was said to dissociate 80%. The formula of zinc chloride is ZnCl2 which dissociates into Zn, Cl and another Cl. If we begin with 100 particles of zinc chloride, 80 particles of zinc chloride will dissociate into 80 particles of Zn 80 particles of Cl and another 80 particles of Cl. The other 20 particles of zinc chloride will remain as ZnCl2. Hence, we will have a total of 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 20 which is equal to 260 particles. I factor is therefore equal to 260 all over 100 which is equal to 2.6. From our freezing point formula, we need 1000 ml of water to be constant so that we can cross multiply the extremes. The question is asking for the freezing point of 0.1% zinc chloride. 0.1% means that 0.1 gram of zinc chloride is in 100 ml. Therefore, how many grams of zinc chloride will be in 1000 ml? Cross multiply to get that x times 100 is equal to 0.1 times 1000. x is equal to 1 gram. Now, we are ready to use the freezing point formula. 136 grams zinc chloride when dissolved in 1000 ml of water we freeze at minus 1.86 times 2.6 which is the I factor of zinc chloride we just calculated. Now, if 1 gram of zinc chloride is dissolved in 1000 ml of water, what would be the freezing point? 1000 ml of water is constant, so we cross multiply to get that 136 times x is equal to 1 times minus 1.86 times 2.6. x is equal to 0.036 degrees C. Let us proceed to question 24. Monobasic sodium phosphate and hydros 5.6 grams, dibasic sodium phosphate and hydros 2.84 grams, sodium chloride QS, purified water 1000 ml. How many grams of sodium chloride should be used in preparing the solution? For this question, we will use the reference table to obtain the E value of the various drugs present in the prescription. E value of anhydrous monobasic sodium phosphate is 
E value of anhydrous dibasic sodium phosphate is 0.53. Since the total volume of the preparation is 1000 ml and we know that 0.9% sodium chloride is isotonic, we can start by calculating how much sodium chloride is required to make the entire 1000 ml isotonic. 0.9% sodium chloride means 0.9 grams sodium chloride in 100 ml. Now, how many grams of sodium chloride would make the 1000 ml isotonic? Cross multiply to get x times 100 is equal to 0.9 times 1000. x is equal to 9 grams. If the entire 1000 ml of the preparation were to contain only sodium chloride, then 9 grams of sodium chloride will make it isotonic. However, the preparation contains two other drugs. Each of these drugs contributes to the tonicity of the preparation. We will calculate how much sodium chloride is already represented by these drugs. Then subtract that quantity from 9 grams to get the extra amount of sodium chloride we need to add to the solution to make it isotonic. To get the contribution of each of the drugs, we simply multiply each gram of the drug by its E value. We can do this directly because the amount is already given in grams. For anhydrous monobasic sodium phosphate, we have 5.6 gram times 0.49 which is equal to 2.74 gram. For anhydrous dibasic sodium phosphate, we have 2.84 gram times 0.53 which is equal to 1.51 gram. The total amount of sodium chloride represented by these two drugs is 2.74 gram plus 1.51 gram which is equal to 4.25 gram of sodium chloride. We previously calculated that 9 grams of sodium chloride is required to make the 1000 ml preparation isotonic. Since we already have 4.25 gram of sodium chloride present in the form of those two other drugs, the extra amount of sodium chloride required is 9 grams minus 4.25 gram, which is equal to 4.75 gram of sodium chloride. Let's proceed to question 30. How many milliliters each of purified water and an isotonic sodium chloride solution should be used to prepare 30 ml of a 1% weight volume isotonic solution of fentanyl citrate with E value of 0.11? For this question, we already have an isotonic solution of sodium chloride and then some purified water. A suitable formula to use is the ml of water needed to prepare isotonic solution is equal to gram of the drug times E value of the drug all over 0.09. To calculate the grams of the drug, since fentanyl citrate should be 1% of this preparation, the amount of fentanyl citrate in grams that should be present in the 30 ml preparation can be calculated like this. 1% means 1 gram of fentanyl citrate in 100 ml. Now, how many grams of fentanyl citrate will be in the 30 ml of the preparation? Cross multiply to get x times 100 is equal to 1 times 30. x is equal to 0.3 grams. The E value of fentanyl citrate is given as 0.11 from the question. Hence, by substituting into the formula, we have that the ml of water needed is equal to 0.3 gram times 0.11 all over 0.009, which is equal to 3.67 ml of purified water. Since the overall volume is 30 ml, the amount of isotonic sodium chloride solution required will be 30 ml minus 3.67 ml, which is 26.33 ml. So in essence, you simply have to dissolve that quantity of the drug in 3.67 ml of purified water to make 3.67 ml of isotonic solution. Then you mix this with 26.33 ml of an already prepared sodium chloride isotonic solution. So the entire 30 ml will be isotonic. Let us proceed to question 10. Chromoline sodium 4% weight volume, benzaconium chloride 1 ratio 10,000 weight volume, buffer solution pH 5.6 QS, water for injection 10 ml. How many milliliters of the buffer solution with E value of 0.30 should be used to render the solution isotonic? For this question, the first step is to determine how many grams of sodium chloride will make the total volume, which is 10 ml, isotonic. 0.9 grams of sodium chloride in 100 ml is isotonic. Then how many grams of sodium chloride should be in that 10 ml to make it isotonic? Cross multiply to get x times 100 is equal to 0.9 times 10. x is equal to 0.09 gram. Now, let us obtain the E values of the two drugs present from the reference table. E value of chromoline sodium is 0.11. E value of benzaconium chloride is 0.16. The next step is usually to convert each of these drugs to the amount of sodium chloride they represent by multiplying them by their E value. However, we cannot do that directly now because the values were not given in grams. Chromoline sodium was given in percentage, that is 4%, and benzaconium chloride was given in ratio strength, that is 
1 is to 10,000. We have to convert each of these values to grams first before we multiply those values in grams by the corresponding E value. For chromoline sodium, 4% means 4 grams chromoline sodium in 100 ml. Now, how many grams chromoline sodium would be in 10 ml? Cross multiply to get that x times 100 is equal to 4 times 10. x is equal to 0.4 grams. Now, multiply this by the E value to get 0.4 grams times 0.11, which is the E value of chromoline sodium, is equal to 0.044 gram. This is the amount of sodium chloride represented by that 4% chromoline sodium. Let us do the same for benzaconium chloride. 1 is to 10,000. This means that 1 gram benzaconium chloride is in 10,000 ml. Then how many grams of benzaconium chloride will be in 10 ml? Cross multiply it to get x times 10,000 is equal to 1 times 10. x is equal to 0.001 gram. Now, multiply this by the E value of benzaconium chloride to get 0.001 gram times 0.16 which is equal to 0.00016 gram. This is the amount of sodium chloride represented by that 1 is to 10,000 of benzaconium chloride. Now, the total sodium chloride represented by these two drugs is 0.044 gram plus 0.00016 gram, which is equal to 0.044016 gram. Earlier, we calculated that 0.09 gram of sodium chloride is what is required to make 10 ml of preparation isotonic. Let us subtract the sodium chloride already present in the form of these two drugs to know how much extra we need. 0.09 gram minus 0.044016 gram is equal to 0.04584 gram sodium chloride required. Now, this would have been our final answer if what was written in the question was sodium chloride QS. But instead, what we have there is buffer solution QS and the E value of that buffer solution was given as 0.30. We simply have to convert this required amount of sodium chloride into the volume of the buffer solution. 1 ml of buffer solution contains 0.30 gram of sodium chloride. This is obtained from the 0.30 given as the E value of the buffer solution. Now, x ml of buffer solution would contain 0.04584 grams of sodium chloride, which is what was required. When we cross multiply, we get that x times 0.30 is equal to 1 times 0.04584 grams. x is equal to 0.153 ml. The implication of this is that when we measure out 0.153 ml of this buffer solution, the amount of sodium chloride inside is 0.04584 gram, which is actually the quantity we need to make that solution isotonic. Don't forget to drop questions that are difficult for you to solve in the comments box. I will attend to them. I will make another video discussing and solving questions on buffer solutions. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload our next video on milli equivalents, milli moles and milli osmoles. That is it for today's video. Don't forget to smash the like and the subscribe buttons to encourage us to continue making more contents like this. Tell us what you think about the video in the comments box and share the video if you think it will be beneficial to your network. Thank you very much and bye.